I am so happy to say that Saskatoon's own Kyle Riabko is in studio. You have made such a great career for yourself. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. You started your career at such a young age. Let me just get this right. You uh, spent your teen years touring as an opening act for big names like B.B. King, James Brown, John Mayer, Jason Mraz, many more. No big deal. Right. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. But it all started here in Saskatoon. It all actually started at Buds on Broadway, which is, you know, as you know, a great musical hub. Uh, and yeah, I just kind of started as a little kid playing guitar and it went from there. Wow. And what kind of advice would you give to fellow Saskatonians who are trying to make it as big as you have? The advice is to use your Saskatonianness. You know, I, I, a lot of people ask the question, how did you break out of the smaller city that you're from? And the answer is you don't try to break out, you take it with you. You know, that's, that's the advice I always give younger people is that you, you never have to feel like you have to transcend where you come from. You should be where you come from, you know. I like that. Now you released your first album in 2005 and you are currently living in New York. You have been off Broadway and now you're transitioning to on Broadway. That's huge. Tell us what you're up to right now. Yeah, I mean, I've done a lot of stuff on, on Broadway. We just recently did the show off Broadway, which was, which was a, um, it was a musical experience. It was a tribute to my mentor, uh, Burt Bacharach, which is still a weird thing to say because he's a legend. But, um, you know, I took his catalog of music and kind of updated it and, and, and put a modern spin on it. And it was a great joy to do. And we're now working on the next steps for that, that show. That's absolutely amazing. Yeah. So where can people find you? If they want to go watch Saskatoon, Saskatoon's own Kyle. Well, I'm here... Uh, Tomorrow night, Friday night at the basement, we're doing two shows. One at eight. I think the eight o'clock sold out. Ten thirty, there's still tickets available. And uh, you know, I'm around. I'll be here. You'll see me having sandwiches at s restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And I mean, you just seem so humble. Like I said, you're living in New York. You're on Broadway. You can just come back home and, and play in, in local joints. Yeah, I love. Well, I just love it. For me, it's just an excuse to to see my family. And, and I spend a week and a half with them, my little brother and my parents and everybody. So it's just it's a joy. For, it's a vacation for me. There's no place like home, right? No place like home. Now, um, tell us, when you were growing up, like I said, uh, you started this career in your early teen years. Mm -hmm. Was this always a dream of yours? Yeah, it, it, it very much was. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. There, there, was a, there was a vibe here, and I bring buds up again. There was, there was myself, there was Jordan Cook, there was Tim Vaughn, there was Megan Lane. There was a whole cornucopia of young kids who could play guitar. And, there, and, and more importantly than that, there was a sense that you could do it. You could succeed if you continued to play. So there was never any, we didn't have any inhibitions. And, and as you look at, you know, the success rate from, from that group of people, it, it's really worked. Um, so, so, I mean, it all started here. So I have Saskatoon to thank. That's why I always keep coming back. It seems like a, a lot of it is the mindset that you had as yeah, well. Yeah, it's the mindset. I mean, my, I have my parents to thank for that. They were very, you know, positive thinkers and, and they never said no, they just said how, you know. Absolutely. A local success story. I love telling everybody about you. Tell us about the song you'll be singing for us. I'm going to sing a brand new song um, that I wrote with my own brain. It's called Holding My Breath. Perfect. Yeah. Kyle Riabko, he wrote the song with his own brain. That is true. We want to hear it. Thanks so much. Okay, thank you. It's so hard just to love yourself in a world that tells you there's nothing to love. Every day is another fight just to stand upright and be happy enough. But if you were here, my stars would align. Because when you are near, my heart can unwind. It's not easy to carve a path When the whole world laughs as you shovel away It's a chore just to wake up glad That the sun came back with the gift of a day But if you were here, my grass would be green Cause when you are near, my heart can be free Drowning in loneliness, and I'm holding my breath for you. It's so simple to cast a stone, 
when you're all alone and there's no one to blame every day is a chance to fall is a ten foot wall that is crumbling away but if you were here my sleep would be sound cause when you are near my feet touch the ground drowning in loneliness and I'm holding my breath for you you fill my lungs and wake me up you try these eyes with all that love you turn me on and on and on oh well I am drowning in I don't have any patience left. No, I am drowning in loneliness. I don't have any patience left. I am And I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath for you.